Hey everyone, it's Uncle George and welcome back to Let's Play Ghost Trick. Uh, last time we managed to get onto the submarine and um, basically uh, Jared and the room he was in disappeared on us. And uh, we found Lynn dead, as usual, at this point. So uh, let's rewind time and see exactly what happened because uh, nobody seems to be able to remember. Off we go. Four minutes before death, the engine room, I suppose this is. Camilla, are you okay? Where'd you get that thing from? C Camilla! Hello, Lynn. Or is it Detective now? It's been ten years since we last met. I'm gonna do it in her voice. I mean, it's quite obvious what's happening here, but uh, I'm gonna do it in her voice because I, th I think that's how it would happen. Are you... are you really that man from the park ten years ago? Well, well, I see there's no need to introduce myself. Give Camilla back. She has nothing to do with any of this. I'm afraid I can't do that. This is my last chance. The phone is ringing. It's not for me. Nobody ever calls the dead. In the middle of all this, I know it's supposed to be like spooky and, and terrifying, but uh, the little girl holding the huge gun like that is an undeniably cool image. Uh, anyway, the fact that you're here means that my revenge plan has failed. Revenge plan? It didn't happen tonight, did it? His execution. Uh, well, knowing him, I half expected as much. That's why I was waiting here like this, waiting for him to show up. Wouldn't it be just what he wanted, to be executed by his own daughter? I heard about ten years ago. I feel sorry about what happened to you. But revenge... Nobody could possibly know what I've... What in the world? An explosion? Uh oh! I've got a bad feeling about this. Have I been had? Look out! Hooray! Camilla didn't. <laughs> Camilla's body didn't actually shoot anyone. Uh, I guess that's okay. Revenge, huh? That's a feeling I just can't understand. Of course not. You're not him. She's right. I'm not him, am I? He was going to shoot Detective Jout as Camilla when he came to rescue her. It's just too horrible. Anyway, let's bring you back to life again. He didn't have to add the again part. Yeah, he did. I'm, I'm gonna go with, yes, he did have to add the again part. So, uh, not sure if there's much we can do here, other than obviously following up on that phone call. Anyway, so let's see, the cause of this death this time was that mysterious explosion. You're pretty up for a dead woman. You know how detectives love a good mystery? It's like a shot of vitamins. And what do you mean, for a dead woman? Anyway, I guess we should look for a way to stop that explosion. Alright, let's do this thing. Finding clues is like a dose of minerals, Detective. I'm afraid with my memory loss, I have no idea what vitamins or minerals are. So, can we reach there? No, there's not much we can actually do yet. Uh, I guess we have to wait for maybe the gun? Yeah, Camilla. It's been ten years, I'm evil now. Uh, there's the gun, we can't get to it yet, but that is what we have to wait for. Come on. Uh, not yet. Uh, get this out of the way. Let's see, this. I need to introduce myself. Yada yada yada. There we go. Now we should be able to get up there. Uh, I can't pick up the phone. Uh, I could do stuff with this, these things. Uh, may as well give it a go. Oh, punk! Hey, we somehow managed to knock down the receiver. Somehow managed? Who should say that's not how I planned it? Come on, hurry! Now's your chance to get on the phone. It might be Detective Jout. She's right. I better check it out. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if he planned it. I certainly didn't. Anyway. Hello, anybody there? If anybody's still there, get yourself here! On the level! We're about to head out! Speak up! Why don't you answer? 
Anyway, come if you're coming. We're leaving. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's much we can actually do in uh, in that place where Lynn and Camilla are, so I might as well check this out. So it must be true what they say, that there are restless ghosts on board. <laughs> yeah, us. That does it. I promise to turn over a new leaf, Mom. Who is he calling restless ghosts? Well, it's true. Neither one of us is ready. Resting in peace. Anyway, it looks like the sub just lost one of its crew. Hmm. I guess that means the fate of this sub has changed slightly. <laughs> That's a silly idea for a checkpoint, but uh, whatever. Cecil has underestimated us. He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip? So the, obviously this is the bit we saw earlier with uh, Jared getting a rude awakening up his backside. It's sick to Jared. What's going on there? I saw this little deal go down once before. In just a moment, the man in red is about to get his Thames fragment taken away. Uh, oh, there's a uh, thought wall. Better hit that. I don't get it. What's happening? They decided to conclude the deal without the other party present. They're just going to go ahead and steal the Thames fragment. Huh? But that's that's cheating. <laughs> I think we have more important things to think about right now. Where's the Thames fragment going to go? Oh, I see. That's the idea. We uh, follow the Thames fragment around. Uh, aha! If I do that, no. Okay. I thought that might have launched the basketball up or something silly like that, but. Uh, Apparently not. We've also got some switches we can do something with. Oh, I did launch the basketball up. There we go. Uh, okay, let's just uh, wait for this. The idea seems to be that we follow this by uh, jumping into it. <laughs> Off it goes down a little conveyor belt. There we go. into a little sub here with uh, our man, the old guy in it, and <laughs> it's a bunch of crew sh sort of uh, squished in the middle there. Ah, the Thamesic Fragment, you're mine at last! <laughs> it's, uh, I don't think snuggling with it is a good idea. Anyway, the objective has been achieved. Now we detach the control room as planned. Yes, sir. Farewell, sir. And off he goes. Sissel, what just happened? The whole room just disappeared with Detective Jowd in it. Don't worry, Lin. I bet Detective Jowd can take care of himself. The main thing right now is rescuing you and the little lady. I can't believe this is happening. Now then, I'd better hurry along before Sissel discovers what he's asked and comes after me. That you know I will be here to coffee. Thanks for the exposition there, mate. May it lie buried here in the deep sea forever. Farewell, Sissel. It's actually a cheeky plan that these guys have. Very, very sneaky uh, what they've done. So they've got what they want from him, which is the fragment, and they're going to leave him behind. Now, he's a ghost that can, you know, move between objects and move through phone lines, so how do you leave someone like that behind? You leave them on a submarine and sink it to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Aha! So that's the cause of that giant explosion. Huh? What is? Don't tell me that's another thing you've forgotten. The torpedo. It's like, well, you've heard of a missile before, haven't you? Yeah, sure. But a different missile comes more readily to mind. It looks like he plans to sink the submarine with that thing. This is not good. We have to do something before that torpedo is fired. Oh. Another thought bubble. To <laughs> Every time, I think, I've gone to go to ghost mode and uh, the thought bubbles come up. Anyway, uh, we can't let it launch. But what can we do? Let's just get to the torpedo as fast as we can. Maybe we can find a way to stop it somehow. Somehow? A true detective never gives up. Oh, he certainly can't just ignore it. Uh, I guess we hit this switch. Uh, we can't get there! Phew, just about got there. It's probably just going to sit there loaded the air for a little while anyway, so not a huge... Um, time control. Anyway, there's no time. It's going to launch. Don't worry. We can still find a way to stop it. What? How? Even if the torpedo does launch, we just have to stop it from detonating, right? There's still something we can do. I hope. Why well, was the I hope at the end the strongest part of the sentence? Okay, here goes. So 
So now we're in a torpedo. It's going to turn around and hit this up again. <laughs> There's a rat inside the torpedo. How did you even get in there, rat? I came along for the ride without giving it too much thought. But was this really the best move? I think so. We just have to keep it from going off, right? I'm sure this poor little rat will thank us too. How in the world did it get in here? That's what I asked. <laughs> Again! See? Every time. Do you know how a torpedo works? No, I can't say I do. Our detectives sure know a lot. I saw it explained once in a book. On impact, the fuse in the tip is depressed. That in turn sets off the detonator. Detonator, huh? That must be that red button. So how do we stop it? Hmm, they didn't explain anything about that in the book. Well, detectives sure know a lot, or not. So the idea is to uh, stop this from pushing this. Uh, I think these outside parts are supposed to be weights of some sort. They're spinning black things, right? Apparently their spinning helps the torpedo maintain its balance. They must be pretty heavy. I wonder if we can use these weights to our advantage somehow. So uh, yeah, that's the thing. We can't, uh, let, we can't let this thing push this thing. So to do that, we've got to uh, get these pincers to uh, essentially clamp onto it. And we do that with this. But if we try it now... Well, there's there's a little guy in the way that stops it from happening. Hmm, this looks like just the thing. If we clamp this thing on the fuse, it should keep it from moving. That's what I said, lady. Uh, so what does that mean, exactly? It means we might be able to stop the torpedo from moving, exploding with this. I have to admit, I don't understand all the details, but I do want to give it a try. But before we can do that, it looks like we have to get something out of the way first, huh? So, uh, yeah. There we go, that's probably where I want to stop it. Oh, we're uh, at the last minute now. Uh, I guess I got that wrong. I guess it's uh, the other way around. So, uh, move back and forth between them. Luckily, it's not in real seconds. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Turns the entire thing upside down, and our poor rat friend falls off. There he goes. Great, we've dumped the little creature off. Wow, those weights were heavy enough to turn the whole torpedo over. Now for that safety device. Right. Yep, now that the rat's gone, we can easily just do this. There, we clamped the safety device on. We did it. That should keep this torpedo from exploding. But there's just one problem. Problem? What's that? The torpedo is still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. Uh-oh. Slam it goes into the submarine. There it is. But at least it wasn't an explosion. What was that noise? Hmm, it looks like the torpedo still hit the submarine. But it looks like the submarine is still okay. This changes everybody's fate, including the little rats. This is all we did it. Yep, we've been nice to rats again. So, uh, being rats nice, uh, nice to rats twice makes up for us being uh, not nice to rats twice throughout the game. There we go. So, uh, well done, us. What's the matter? You still look unhappy. We stopped the torpedo from blowing up, but we still opened up a gaping hole in the submarine. Hmm, you're right, I guess. I guess that's what missiles do! They're unstoppable! Huh? Are we hearing things? Anyway, I guess we better get back to the present as quickly as we can. Right, I'm, right, I'm worried about Camilla. At least I assume that was meant to be a missile's voice. We managed to stop death for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. It's now slowly but surely filling the room. Uh-oh. Water is seeping in through the hole where the torpedo hit. I've got to get them out of here. I'd better go meet up with Lynn. So, uh, yeah. Good idea getting them out of here. Luckily, there's plenty of stuff we can uh, latch onto, which uh, will all be useful at some point. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. Uh, up across these... No, I can't go across those. Okay. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Can I... Aha, there we go. Turn that on. The lights went out, but this machine apparently still works. Unfortunately, I guess it won't run for very long. 
can use his movements to help me create a path. Yeah, that's what I was going to do, but uh, he had to cutscene it out for me. I'd better hurry over to Lynn. It's not safe to stay here. I just don't have the power to stop the water from coming in. Uh, come on. Yeah. There we go, that'll have to do. There we go, managed to get there in the end. Uh, can I get up there? Yes. There we go, this is about, apparently this is as far as we can go. Lynn! Camilla, you're awake. How do you feel? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I pointed that gun at you. Don't worry about that. That wasn't you. I, I thought that if you were manipulated, you couldn't remember it, which is why she didn't remember it the first time around, but uh, I guess she remembers it now. Miss Camilla! Oh, Miss Old, you're here! Oh, poor Miss Camilla! Miss Lynn, what shall we do? We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. Sissel should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come! And Missy is here too! I'm so happy everybody's going to be uh, going to be with me now. And so she falls back asleep. Or passes out again, I suppose, but... Camilla! Miss Camilla! I'll get you out of here. If it's the last thing I do... Oh, I think I'm going to cry! Or whimper, as the case may be. I better send a signal to Lynn that I'm here before it's too late. I think the the time limit on this is pretty generous, so I'll see what Lynn has to say. Okay, I said I'd get, get you out of here, Camilla. But it's so dark, I can barely see. Now what? Uh, it is already, eh? I think she's asking for my help. I should send her a signal. Uh, yep, so uh, I think that the next time we'll be sending Lynn a signal and then uh, hopefully helping her and Camilla and Missile all get out of here before they drown in this water. Uh, hopefully there's a way for them to get out of the submarine. So uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and bye-bye.